right guys, right here, as I'm on my hunt, I'm checking out over at this Target that I kind of drove pretty far away from. Uh, there was not much in the aisles, of course, right there, but they tend to keep most of their products over at uh, behind customer service. And as you could tell, there's a ton of optic cello packs, a ton of optic blasters. It was hangers of select as well as uh, blasters of select basketball and a ton of prism um, a ton of prism uh, there was a ton of megas as well of prism basketball but it, it was just completely stock i just bought a couple of things over there um over here was a walmart that's close by and as you could tell we ran across with some Tops 2022 update baseball. I, I purchased about one of those. I didn't need too much of them. Um, right here is this mystery power box of Pokemon that you could pull the evil uh, evolution uh, packs from. I didn't buy any of those. But right here, I ran across a ton of uh, the uh, Hot Wheels that I was looking for. These are the Honda Culture Hot Wheels uh, set that I was looking for. I'm a big car guy as well, so I collect a lot of Hot Wheels as, as far as um, car related. Um, so that's one of the things I collect um, personally as well. So I ran across these matchboxes as well, which is pretty cool. Not as good as the last ones, but the Matchbox Japan Origins. I'm glad they're still having that type of set. Pretty cool set overall. Yep, pretty cool set. I um, one, two, three, four, five. I bought, of course, some of these. I met a guy uh, later down when I was checking over at Best Buy. And uh, he had a Civic Type R FK, so I spoke with him a little bit and I gave him one of the doubles that I had in the FK8s because uh, he had an FK, so that, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you know, that he had a car, the same car as me. But um, I only bought a few things over at the first Target store. I bought a couple of select hangers and I bought one of the top update um, hangers over at this Walmart. I was just glad that they had uh, a lot of um, die cast. Most times they don't. Uh, you have people who uh, go hardcore when it comes to collecting stories and Pokemon. And you have the same thing when it comes to die cast as well. Most of the times these guys go at nighttime to find these products and such. So it's always difficult to find any stocks of die cast over in my area at least. I don't know why they had the hatchback when it's not being a type R. Oop. Yep, pretty cool overall. They had a ton of these uh, Japan origins. I was super right. surprised. What else they got? The last set, they didn't have much. I think that it was always hard to find the last set. Alright. Yep, I got the complete set. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another brand new video. And I hope you guys did enjoy the little perspective of what I go through or my perspective when I go looking for any type of collectibles. Rather it's Funko Pops, Hot Wheels, or any type of cards or trading cards. But um, I'm gonna try to start doing that um, once in a while just to try to change things up a little bit. And let me know down in the comments if you guys prefer that and if you guys enjoy that. But um, this is basically my haul for today of what I was able to find. I kind of want to go through everything. Um, but before then, I want to make sure that you guys, if you did win something in the giveaway, please make sure there's a way for me to contact you through YouTube. Rather, you put an email on your profile of your YouTube or contact me through my Instagram or email. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to just kind of show you um, how to go and check out my email. Um, for some reason, I can't put on this description of the video. It gets deleted. Um, but let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and do that here for you guys. So let me just move this to the side just a bit. And let me see if I can pull that up for you. Right. 
Shit. So this is basically the channel, of course. And what you would need to do is, um, let's go ahead and go to one of our, to get the giveaway channel here. So from that on right there, you will need to basically click on, basically my profile right here, Chance with Collectibles. And from right there, you see these tabs right here, you will go to um, the About section you hit the about and right there is where you click on view the email and my email should be right there you guys so that's how you uh will contact me based through email i'm pretty sure that's with any type of youtube channels it's the same way um that's also how i'm able to contact you through um your contacts or your profile on youtube so i can access your email but that's how you guys do it, uh, guys. So just make sure you guys um, have that so it's easier for me to contact you. And if not, you can always um, contact me through my email account. So that, since that's already out there, uh, I just want to show you guys that real quick so there's no confusion. I want to make sure that the giveaway winners are getting their products. Um, so once again, you guys, please make sure that there's a way for me to contact you or you contact me. Um, but yeah, this is where I was able to find. I didn't buy too much. Um, I just want to go through it. Um, I bought two of the select hangers, so we're going to go ahead and rip that today, as well as the top space ball. And these are the Hot Wheels. I'm a big car guy. I do have an FKA Type R. Um, maybe I'll show that in a channel one these days, go over my car and stuff like that. But I was really looking for these Honda cultures because I'm a big Honda guy. Um, these are really retro 90s modifications on cars. I've been really looking for these and I was hap um, happy that I was able to find these. I had this car before too, this EG. Um, pretty cool cars, you guys. Um, shout out to um, Isaac from Baseball75. You know, he's a big um, collector of Hot Wheels as well. Uh, I love his channel. I like the fact that he kind of collects the same thing as me. So shout out to you, Isaac. Um, yeah, this EF, I used to have an EF. My very first car was an EF Civic, and I've always loved the hatchback. Um, beautiful cars. Definitely going into my PC for sure. Um, not going anywhere. If you guys want uh, me to go through some of my um, Hot Wheels um, collections, I, would, I wouldn't mind doing that on the channel. Just let me know if you would like to see some of them, and I'll, I'll show it. But let's go ahead and get started, guys. Let's go ahead and rip some packs here. Let's start out with uh basketball so yeah as you can tell in that that video there was a ton of um product at that target it was just nuts i've, I've never seen that much but before we rip these guys i, I want to make sure that you guys are not getting scammed because this has been going on in my area um these hanger packs the problem with these hanger packs and they're not hanger boxes no more what's happening the same thing with the football people are starting to cut um, the sides of this of this spot right here and they could check the cards because the cards in the back are usually the ones that are most valuable this goes with any of the hanger packs so be very careful make sure if you're not the first one there make sure that you guys are definitely checking to make sure nothing's been um, cut open or anything even my barns before when I check over my barns there was some slits over there where these people are searching the packs so that's the problem with some of these hanger packs now they're not safe if you're not the first one there, just be super careful of buying them because I've had some packs that have been ripped through. There's just a lot of dishonest uh, flippers, collectors, or whatever you might call them that are doing that. So just be very careful, be mindful of it. I just don't want you guys to get scammed out of something, somebody searching the packs and um, knowing that there's no good um, cards in them and you're buying them. So don't, just don't fall for that guys. Make sure you are checking your packs. Uh, without further ado, guys, this was about $15, um, which is kind of bad because that's like a dollar a card because you only get 15 cards here. Uh, they do have the blue shimmers. Um, you can pull, of course, the elephants, the tigers. I haven't pulled nothing. I, I, I've never pulled anything last year either, so I'm, I'm not really hopeful, um, but we're going to just go through this. 
Julius Randle. We got Trey Murphy. He's been playing really good. Uh, Patrick Williams. Uh, Moses Moody. Uh, Kawhi Leonard. Jason Tatum. LeBron James. Josh Giddy. Cool. We're getting a lot of good rookies right there. Tobias Harris. Uh, Deontra Ayton. And we have uh, Jalen Brunson on the court side. Pretty cool. And uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. on the retail silver. Wish it was a rookie there, but nope. Um, Car Anthony Towns. And our first is going to be a Car Anthony Towns again on the shimmer. Oh my gosh, it feels like the same variations from my last video. And we have uh, Santa Adama. At least we did get a rookie shimmer right there, guys. Not too bad. I'll take it for sure. Still a rookie shimmer. I don't know too much about this player, but you just never know, you guys. They can always blow up. I'll go ahead and put that right there. Um, we'll go ahead and do the cat, too. I love the shimmers. Shimmers, like I told you guys before, is one of my favorite um, uh, prisms, parallels, or whatever you might call them. One of my favorites. Um, let's go ahead and open this. My luck, I'm not pulling anything good right now. Hopefully it could change on this one. We got the, uh, Sabanis, Kelly Oubre. We got Jericho Sims, Herbert Jones, uh, Damian Leonard, Christian Woods, uh, Alper Sagoon, he's been playing really well, Miles Bridges, Brandon Ingram. We got Jaron Jackson Jr. LeBron James on the Premier, and Anthony Davis on the Silver. Come on, man. Come on. These guys follow me everywhere. And we have... What's that? Okay. Uh, uh, Josh Christopher. Rockets on the Blue. That's really cool. Or Silver. And, oh my gosh. And that's another Joshua Primo, you guys. This guy... This guy is following me. That is horrible that it fell on him. But then we got Trey Young on the the shimmer right there. Wow, this guy. This guy, as you, if you see my last videos, I've been pulling this guy left and right. Most of these players, honestly. I have no luck with Select, you guys. Select is not my friend. I'm more of an optic person. I get better luck with optic. That's just the way it goes sometimes, you know. Sometimes you get duds. I did not pick up the right packs this time around, apparently. All right, let's go ahead and open this. Um, uh, top, of course, 122. I hope I had better luck on this, you guys. I'll try to do a little bit more baseball. If ever Bowman Chrome comes out again, I'll probably get more of those. Um, okay, picture perfect. That's a pretty cool card. I don't know much about baseball, guys, so let me know if I, I got anything good out of here. I know from the last video when I opened the five hangers, you guys kind of taught me a little bit of uh, baseball, which who are good players and such. But let's just go ahead and go through a picture perfect. I think these are really just uh, a lot of these are um, just base cards for the most part in the beginning. So, wow, look at that. Oh, that I got it twice. <laughs> um, all right, Jeez, all sideways. Any rookies just yet? Let me go ahead and put that. Go. He's up. Adam Fraser. I think these are all just really based. There's a rookie, MJ Dodds. Joe Ryan. That. Um, Rene Pinto. Spencer Tolkinson. I, I know that he's decent, right? Make sure we sleeve it afterwards. Ooh, I think we have something in the back here. What is that? Oh, it's a number card. Don't know what it is. What is this? Pedro, Mar Pedro Martinez, 101 out of 299. What is this? Paragon. Okay. Uh, Pedro Martinez, Paragon numbered, 101 out of 299. Pretty cool. We got a number card at least, you guys. What, what you guys? Is this a good player? 
I have no clue. At least it's numbered. Um, we got Bryson Stoltz, top chrome rookie. That's cool. What? That's interesting. Is that normally like that? Hmm. Bryson Stoltz. That's pretty cool. Don't know if we. It's normally like that. I hear these kind of off. George Springer. We got Joey Wentz, uh, Chrome. Joey Wentz, that's pretty cool. So, seems like to be a pitcher. Is that Chrome? That's pretty dope. Then we got uh, Julio Rodriguez, that's pretty cool. Stars of the MLB. Yeah, I think this is like slightly different or something. Am I wrong? I don't know why that one's different from that. That says Tops Chrome rookie card. They're, they're slightly different. Hmm. I don't remember seeing something like that. But let me know what's the difference between those two. Um, Xavier Bays. I'm sorry. Um, Ryan Mountcastle. And then we got, oh, okay, Royce Lewis. I know that he's decent. That's pretty cool. And then we got another Paragon. And then, oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Bobby Witt Jr. So he was the guy people are chasing, right? Is that the 75th or 35th? That's pretty dope. Oh, this was a pretty uh, good box then, right? Am I wrong? Oh, no, I'm right or wrong here. You guys know baseball, baseball, what I mean. Like, but, yeah, Bobby Witt Jr. 35th anniversary or 75th? That's a cool card. Let we'll me make sure we uh, sleeve that up. That's that's really cool. Uh, yep. Let's go ahead and keep going here. Another uh, Torkinson. That's cool. Isaac Pedris. Um, Franco. Let's just go through this. Alex Digotti. Bryce Elder. Richie Palazzids. Oh man, I'm butchering these names. William Woods. Tommy Romero. That guy, Gasaki Katu. Jack Swinsky. Ryan Bradish. Xavier Bays. End it with something good here. I don't think they, I think we really went through all the good stuff. From possibly. And a rookie of Hilliard Ramos. And Riley Tell. So yeah, let me know. Let me uh let me go and sleeve some of these. Let me kind of go over some of it. Mainly the rookies. Well, I took a dud on the basketball, but I think I did okay on the, the baseball. And it, at least the reason why a lot of these guys are, um, everyone, we've been opening a lot of these hangers. But yeah, I think this is slightly different. It's different stock. It feels a little bit more heavier. Um, where is the lobby? That's a cool card. Well, it's not, not much to go over the, basically the basketball, but here's the, the Bobby Wood Jr., guys. That's pretty cool right there. And then um, the Paragons out of 101 of Pedro Martinez. I don't see what's the difference on this compared to the other Paragons. It looks very similar in my opinion. Uh, then you got the Bryson stock, which is weird. It seems like to be in a different type of stock of the rookie card. Um, starts with MML, MLB. And then uh, the Joey Wentz on the Chrome. Julio Rodriguez and stars of the MLB. And then we have the Royce Lewis. So, pretty cool overall, you guys. I, I think um, we did okay on that. I think we did. But, um, yeah, you guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. Um, put a thumbs up if you like the video. 
Uh, once again, if you haven't already, please share, like, and subscribe to the channel for more content and giveaway. Um, leave in the comments of what you guys want to see open next or rip next or what you want as far as the giveaway, um, the following giveaway that we will be doing in the near future. But, uh, yep. Once again, you guys, collect what you love, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.